Alrighty, so you've probably seen the video. We've bought a rackless mounting kit as well as a, um, a Dutch awning. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm, I'm not a professional and I do advise you to go see a professional to get it fitted, but I'm no professional and I do like to um, go against recommendations. Um, but don't follow my lead, just do as I say, go see a professional, but use this as a tutorial, I guess. All right, so pretty much first things first is when you want to install your rackless kit, you're gonna to need to remove the rubber. Now the rubber strip is the gutter line of your vehicle. So up on your roof. So sometimes you just slide it off or you pull on a little bit or you just have to lift it up a little bit, it will come off. Now what that's gonna do is once it's off, it's gonna expose. Now, realistically, before you go do that, you need to decide which, way, uh, which side you're gonna be installing your rackless kit on anyway. So realistically, majority of the time people put it on their passenger side. So, good, now that I got that over and done with. So, pull that strip off. Now that's gonna expose your, 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 your gutter line. Now sometimes the, uh, the vehicle manufacturer will have a, um, a pre-mounting bracket for your roof racks. Um, you're gonna to need to remove that if your car does have it. Some cars do not. Now, therefore, if your car does have it, you're gonna to have to drop down your roof lining a little bit and pull off the brackets, um, sorry, the bolts, which then will remove the bracket. Um, so once you've done that, now it gets exciting. And that's the difficult part to tell you the truth. So pretty much if it already has a mounting bracket from factory, it's gonna have holes. Now you're gonna to need to silicon up one of those holes um, on the back and the front. Um, so pretty much what you want to do is you want to measure from the windscreen to... The top um, of the windscreen? Yeah, sorry, the top of the windscreen. I'm lucky she's <laughs> here. Um, I know it makes sense in my head, trust me. Um, all right, so pretty much, yeah, you measure from the top of the windscreen along the gutter line. Now, that there, there are measurements on the um, instructions. instructions, which will tell you how far back it needs to go. <laughs> lucky enough, on the MR Triton, it actually... Um, lines up exactly or close enough to where it should have been by the rene uh, recommendations from the manufacturer, which is great. Um, so pretty much what you do there is that once you've measured that one, that first hole, you then measure from the from that section back. From the windscreen back, and it'll give you a new measurement. You what? <laughs> from the windscreen back. So you're still always measuring from the uh, windscreen so back. So I thought you measured from the bolt hole that you're no. going to be using. All right, no. so measure from the windscreen back. You're going to need two people probably to figure it out, but I actually got my partner to do it. That's why I'm a little bit fuzzy in that area. <laughs> anyway, all right, so once you've done that, you measure your two holes, figure out the hole that you, uh, the two holes you do not need, silicon them up. Um, then what you want to do then is get your bracket, so your supplied bracket from Rackless, which is this big bulky thing. Depending on the manufacturer um, of your vehicle, is depending if you're going to have, or what kind of bracket I presume, but it's pretty much all the same realistically. Um, so pretty much get that bracket, put it where that hole is that you're meant to, get the, um, I think it's the smallest bolt. Uh, no, the second smallest. The second smallest bolt. Or realistically, it doesn't really matter anyway. Just get a bolt, chuck it down the hole of your bracket, of your... Of, of, of your middle of your bracket and then chuck that down the gutter line of where your um, your, your gutter line hole is and then um, make sure the brackets are obviously lined up beautifully and straight and, and all the kind of stuff. We got kids in the car and they're making a bit of a racket. You're gonna go tell them to play on their phone, I guess. Um, so pretty much once you put the bracket in the gutter line and you've got the, the, um, the bolt in the hole, Pretty much what you want to do is you want to, either side of that, there's two other holes. Now, they, you're going to use as rivets. Now, therefore, you want to mark them, so pin punch them, or if you're like me, I just chucked the drill straight into it and went for gold and drilled my holes. Now, therefore, if you do not have pre, um, if your car does not have holes from it from the manufacturer, you're going to have to mark the middle hole as well, but that's all um, within the measurements that are provided from Rackless. So it's real simple stuff to tell you the truth. But, so pretty much with my car, I had a middle bolt, a, a, a middle bolt that then I put a nut on, and then I had my two uh, rivets on either side with another make, you may not have the bolt in the middle, and it's just another uh, rivet that you put down. Rackless supplies all that gear for you, except for the nut, because, or did they? No, they didn't. No, they didn't, no. But it, came with my car anyway because once you pull out the old roof mounting system those those nuts actually fit those systems i don't know if i was lucky but i presume you rackless have actually thought about 
uh, different makes and they've actually got the correct size bolts which is absolutely brilliant well I didn't have any issues to tell you the truth so pretty much once you've marked them you drill them out now once you've drilled them out you want to get some paint um, your paint is there because obviously once you've drilled it out it's not going to be exposing the metal so therefore you want to put the paint there just to protect um, and to yeah to protect the metal from rusting um, so paint or any kind of rust prohibited kind of um, substance or I think substance is not the correct word but anyway we'll go with it good enough for me so pretty much once you've done that um, that's the exciting part so let that product dry and then 24 hours or 48 hours depending on how long or whatever the hell you guys put on there dries then that's when the exciting part comes now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna roll the next clip and I'm gonna show you a tutorial on how to do it um, I thought I'd talk through the first bit of the process because realistically it's the boring part um, and I don't think you guys wanted to see it um, but easy enough for me to explain it to you and now that we've got the boring stuff out we'll roll the clips and then you can actually see how easy it is to proceed to actually get the full um, rackless kit on your car with the awning as well it's literally simple and you'll get it done within I don't know what 30 minutes Oh, maybe maybe 20 <laughs> I don't know we were filming so there, therefore it took a little bit longer and I don't know if you're wondering why we're uh, like we're a bit dry we are wet but um, we've dried out a little bit but it absolutely pissed down as well a few times so you'll probably see that in the clips only if you're wondering why we're so wet anyway but um we'll roll the clips now I hope you enjoy it and just remember uh, also in the description there are gonna be links to the products that I'm using today anyway um, but as I said before Get a professional to fit it but i'm no professional and i like to not follow recommendations but that's just me anyway but don't do as i do do as i say that's how it goes isn't it something like that something like that anyway we'll roll the clips and um enjoy Alrighty. so the next step is pretty much line everything up all of your bolts brackets whatnot make sure you understand the instructions because this video is not to uh, replace the instructions. It's just a tutorial realistically on how I've done it. Um, so pretty much now that we've got all the holes drilled um, and obviously the factory one that came from this little duvery, um, pretty much we want to get our rivets on how I'll do it. I just put my rivets in. Um, and then obviously your two holes that will go at the front of this. Now we want a silicon as well, so obviously just mark out where obviously your silicon is going to go and then go for gold. Then don't be shy with the silicon because obviously this is going to help um, waterproof this whole area. So remember you can always wipe the silicon off as well. So now you've got that, obviously you want to get your correct bolt as well. You want to slide hair in, well that's what I'd do. And then pretty much just slide it down all of the holes. in beautifully like that now what I'm going to quickly do anyway is I'm going to tie it in the middle bolt so just give me a second and I'll be back with you um, so when I took off this bracket anyway it did actually come with a bolt as well which obviously goes on them that is actually the same size as this so Rackless has sorted the people out that have the factory mounts and these bolts should fit well mine does so give me two seconds I've lost a device nope this is the device that I was after so this tool as well, they do provide you with a special tool and that is for obviously security purposes and that will obviously fit all of your screws. So this is just my own, I prefer to use this rather than the one they supplied. So, but either or either, they both do the same thing. I'm just picky. Um, so I'm just gonna screw my screw on and then go from there. Um, it may be a little bit tricky because obviously it, it is in between a whole lot of stuff as well. So we'll, we'll just go for gold and we'll, We'll see how complicated it is, but give me a second and I'll get back to you. I find sometimes when it's in a tight corner, get a blob of silicon, put it on the nut, means the nut sticks to you. So it might help because you're pushing your fingers into some weird spots. But remember, a professional should be installing this, not a backyard person like myself. I don't like listening to rules and regulations, but your manufacturer's uh, recommendations is definitely something you should be following. So I've just located the bolt, and if all goes well, I should be able to screw it. So now it's screwing on now. 
I've got my finger still on the um, on the nut, um, and I will tighten it in a second. But I just want to get it up the thread as much as possible as well. So as I'm tightening, you can see the silicon coming through. Now, I did the front one a little bit different. I actually put the um, the uh, rivets in first. Um, I don't know if you should be putting the rivets in first. I actually think you, are, you may actually need to. So I'll loosen that off because the rivets are going on a little bit of a pierce. I might actually do the rivets first actually. Don't tighten that up first, do your rivets. Now be careful you don't dent your car because obviously when using one of these they can flick. Um, so we'll just pull this forward. Doesn't mean it's not gonna hurt my car but hopefully it saves it. Just like that, first one's done. We'll crack onto the second one. As soon as we've done that, we'll tighten it up. So I'll see you in a sec. These things can be an absolute pain. The front one went in nice and easily. The rear one seems to be a bit of a pain. Um, but, put my strength into it. I ate my spinach this morning and my wheat mix, so. Oh, probably pulling some funny faces too. There we go. Beautiful. The hard work is done. Awesome. All right, now let's tighten up this bolt. The one that I told you to tighten up before, leave it for last. All right, so that's all done for you. What I would probably recommend is trying to tidy up your workplace. Get rid of the stuff you don't need. Like it back in the car. All right, so the next thing is, I'd probably be cleaning up your silicon, because obviously, with, if you're anything like me, I, I overdo it. All right, so next thing's next is the partner's asked me to repeat myself, because apparently I was out of frame. So here we go again. So now that this bracket is completely secured to the vehicle, all the nuts are tightened, you got your rivets in, what you want to do is pretty much get this plate. Now this plate is gonna go over this bracket. Now this plate's gonna cover up your previous bolt holes that you've already used. So pretty much you put the bracket on top, you find your little wee little bolts. You got four of them. So two at the back, two at the front. You want to screw it on a little bit. If you have problems trying to find the holes, your partner may be able to help you out. So, go on like that, don't tighten them up fully until you got your other bolt pretty much tight. Line up your bracket. And she's tight. Now therefore, I'm sure if I put this camera right next to it, you'll hear the crack of, of the um, bolts if I tried to loosen them. All right, so next thing's next is after you got that on, it's looking good, be excited because you're nearly just about to put your rackless on. Now, so you want to grab your rackless. Now, they've Luckily, they put uh, R, on the, uh, R on the back and a F on the front. Now, for someone like me that doesn't think very much, I do appreciate a company that thinks about the people like myself that don't think too much. I don't need to think about this, and I know it goes on the rear. So, you want to get your protective sticker. Now, this will go on your paintwork to protect it. I presume it protects your paint in case there's any movement. So, we want to undo it. Now my hands are still, or my fingers are still a little bit sticky from the silicon. Now what we want to do is that you've got two holes here. Now that's where your rackless is going to be sitting. All right, so pretty much this sticker is a little bit wider than those holes, which is great. So let's see how good I am at sticking a sticker on. Now, oh, not going too well, am I? So pretty much stick the sticker on, try and get it as even as possible on either side. Oh. Oh geez, I've got bubbles. Geez, this is like the first sticker I've ever done, I think. Pull her up. It doesn't need to be perfect, by the way. It's just to help protect your paintwork. Jeez. It's like a grade one person's done it. Anyway, cool. All right, so that's on. Now, exciting part. It says rear, goes on the rear. Now, oh. So pretty much what you want to do, you just want to line up the holes to obviously your bracket. 
So you just want to push her on. Yep. And she's on. Now, next stage is the lighting here is absolutely shocking. So I 100% I think I've actually got it in the right spot. So now what you want to do, you want to get your bulbs. Now I pre-did these. You've obviously got your split washer. I think that's what it's called. And then you've got your washer. Or if not, call them a thingy -ma bob because it makes perfect sense. So what you want to do, get your bolt and your thingy -ma bobs, put them in the correct order because what that will do, that will ensure that this bolt stays tight. Now, you want to put it down the hole and tighten her up. And fingers crossed, I've got it in the right spot. Now, it is a little bit tight, which is great. So I'm just going to use this just to get it down a little bit. Oh, I need to just hit myself in the head. Get down there. You know what? You can just push it down. <laughs> now, locate your holes. Now, I'm not too good at locating holes, so it might take me a little bit, but push your bracket on, give it a whack with a mallet, and I'm sure you're going to find the hole. So just give me a sec. I'll line them up, and I'll get it on. But I think I might be on to it. So whack her on. Nice and good. And then tighten her up. Now it's starting to rain, so what I'm going to tell you is to repeat the front, uh, repeat the process with the front. It's exactly the same, and tighten it all up. Once you've done that, you'll have two rackless on your car. Now, I'll see you in a sec. I think I'm going to pack away my tools. I'll see you in a sec when it stops raining a little bit, because I'm a little bit of a sook when it rains, and um, we'll start bolting it all up. So I'll see you in a sec. Wow, it's done. They're both on, solid, beautiful. Now, the one thing I have not told you, now, there was a rubber strip that was here. If you remember me talking about it when we first started this little film. Um, a little bit of crap in my windscreen, I just pulled it off. Um, so pretty much what you want to do is you just need to put it back in. But I'm not going to do it on this film. Um, save it for another day, I guess um because the weather's not too great um but it's real simple stuff goes in the same way as it comes out and just cut it to size realistically right so the next stage now is to get your awning now it does not need to be a darch it can be whatever you want but honest truth the darch the quality absolutely brilliant and when you're dealing with a, a system like this the rackless you may as well put a quality product with another quality product and i'm not just trying to talk it up but by far when you look at these things you will be impressed so it's a, um, yeah, something you want to get done. Now, all right, so let's go get the awning and we'll bolt her up. All right, so it's time to open up the goodie bag. I did have a quick glimpse. So pretty much what we've got here, we've got these, these brackets will bolt onto the like normal roof racks that go into cars. Um, so they're absolutely useless for the rackless one, I believe. I could be incorrect. So put these aside because I don't think you're going to need them. Now these bolts are what, you're, are what you're going to be using to bolt it up to there. So find your bolts, which should be your smaller ones, and then your nuts. Now you only need four of them. Now, the dark. <clears throat> what you do is you slide your bolt down there. On either side, you have four of them. I personally put two here, two there. Get these ones pretty much identical to where, obviously, like next to each other. So when you put it up there, you can line these ones up straight away. And then your other ones, um, you can push in, push, pu uh, push into the area that you need them. Um, but just remember, when you put these ones in first, just tighten them up a little bit. So then you can move on to the other side, just so it doesn't fall off. Um, and go from there. So pretty much, your bolts. <clears throat> All right. It's a bolt, nut. Your bolt slides on. Should have another one. I might actually slide right the way down. And get your other one. Like that. So pretty much this is where it, this is where the fun happens. Your ratless is already on. And this thing will take two seconds to bolt up, and that's the beauty of this whole system. Now Get your um, uh, spanner. Uh, this is not called a spanner. This is called something else. I forgot. It's a thing in the bob. Right now, 
Your nut's gonna fit in there nice and beautifully. Make sure it's the exact one, which is 10 mils, which it fits absolutely beautiful. So what I'm gonna do, I've got a pocket. I'm gonna fill my pockets up with goodies, four of them. I'm gonna lift this device. Now, your mum probably, actually, I was gonna put this in my mouth and say, your mum tells you not to put things in your mouth. Well, I was, I was about to, but I probably will be putting it in my mouth anyway. But I'll put it there for the meantime. Now, lift the device, be careful. Obviously, make sure it might be a two-person lift. I'm not too sure. It, is, it does have a little bit of weight to it. Um, and be careful you don't lose your bolts. But we'll bring this over to the car. Billy, I'll get you to jump up there. And you can see me putting it on. All right, so next thing's next. Open up your car door. Or even better, get something sturdy to stand on. I'm not doing it the correct way. So don't follow as I do. But do as I say. Um, but remember, a professional is always... Um, advised now this is actually pretty complicated with one person Ugh. all right so slide it on like that oh i got it in the hole first time oh wow oh, i got them all in the hole wow all right told you i'd put it in my mouth all right screw it on Doesn't taste too nice. Now, this one's handy because it's got like a little ratchet thingy-majiggy attached to it, thingy-majiggy-bob. Now, I've lost my other nut since I turned around from the back of the tray and came here and tried to do it all by myself, when I should have probably asked for help, um, I've lost a nut. It will be around here, I'll find it, but we'll tighten this up first. So, here we go. All right, so luckily enough, I found the missing nut. It fell in the car. Whee! I just like scratching my paintwork. Now, um, these washers, I'm gonna put these on just so there's a little bit more grab. Now, it probably doesn't need it. It didn't come from factory like that, but I just feel it does need it. So I'm, I'm gonna start with, them with this side because I've only got two on me at the moment because I left the rest at home. Um, and I didn't actually realize I was going to be needing them. So I'll put the two washers on this side and chuck the nut on there. This is actually on the piss downwards a little bit. So what I realized is, is the reason why these have got a slant here is so you can actually level it to what level you want it, which is really smart to tell you the truth. So I might loosen this side first just a tad and bring it to level. Um, and then I'll sew on the other side. Looks good. Ah, that's on. Got the bolt, the two washers, and I'll get onto the back. All right. Please. You can't understand me. I had something in my mouth. Bad person. Alright, so put your washer on. Doesn't need to be done, but it's just something that I thought thought of. And I'll loosen this off. So we can chuck the other one on. Now I'll fix this all up when I get home with the other ones with some washers. But realistically it's just me just maybe overthinking things, but I just like things to have a little bit more grip. And then just tighten it all up. All right, that's all tight. It's on there quite nicely. Can't believe it's raining, but well worthwhile. I'm happy. All right, I think it's time to get this awning out and see how well this awning complements these roof racks. Well, rackless roof racks. I do believe that they are going to be the replace of the roof rack because these things, for for me personally, 
I'm the kind of person like saying that's from factory that doesn't look like it's been played with kind of thing and I believe these things they just look normal they look they look awesome they're slimline they're not too bulky because I don't like things that are like hanging off a vehicle and look like some realistically young kids got hold of it and put a big bull bar and a, these big ass spotties and realistically things that aren't really needed and I believe that these things are just beautiful they're practical they do the job and they get you to where you need to go um, and also on another thing these things can bolt up other things as well they've got uh, rackless actually have roof racks uh, not roof racks um, <clears throat> rod holders for them which come off these brackets at the back I'm not 100% sure how they bolt up but maybe it's like something to do with these bolt holes wouldn't actually have a bloody clue because I don't have one but I'm sure if we get hold of one I can definitely show you how they bolt up um, but let's get this awning out and we'll see how well it goes so these awnings are really simple. Well, I presume it is, if it's the same as the other awning that I had. You want to unstrap it, and you're going to roll it out. Now at the very end of this, this is going to have some poles. So those poles are going to come down, and then you're going to have, um, oh, what I'll get you to do, Billy, is it will bring that down, bring this down. You just hold it there for a sec, Billy. Yep. Now, there's these poles here, bring them out, and these are going to plug straight into this. That should have some kind of mechanism to tighten it. Oh no, there we go. So let's twist, twist the front pole, and it'll tighten. Try not to poke yourself in the eye with the pole as well. Bring it down, Billy. A little bit too tall. Once again, tighten it up. She's tight. Now do the same with these legs. I'm just trying to remember which way to twist. So that's solid there. What you have here is some Velcro. You pull the Velcro down and you put it back onto the Velcro, which then supports the actual um, uh, canvas. Tarp, canvas. Yeah, we'll call it a tarp. I was going to call it something else, but anyway. So, yeah, it just supports it so when the wind blows, it doesn't flap up like that and then go a million miles. So, put it like that. Now, before. This thing comes with guide ropes. So there's a little doobery thing here that I believe you tie onto. It's just like a, um, a tent. Just tend it down, bang it down with your mallet and it'll be sweet. But at the moment, there's not really much wind. The rain has actually gone away, which is actually great. Um, so there's no need to peg it down or whatnot at the moment. And we're only showing to see what it's like and the quality, which I know the quality realistically compared to the other awnings I've had, this is outstanding. So um, I definitely think it's worth the extra couple of dollars that you spend on it. So cool, sweet. All right, well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, give us a yell. I'll put a link in the description for the Rackless um, awning kit, um, as well as the actual mounting brackets. Um, I think they are a Perth based company, aren't they, yes, Billy? They definitely are. Um, brilliant. Support Australian business people small businesses small businesses that's the one um and honest truth when you're dealing with someone of this quality of the of the brackets you're definitely not gonna be disappointed so um we'll see you on the next one anyway but just just again any questions give us a yell